Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to talk to you about an altimeter called the Perfect Flight Firefly. As you can see, it is a very small little altimeter. Now this altimeter is not a data logging altimeter, although it gives you more than just peak altitude. It's going to give you peak altitude and peak speed, uh, but it, that's all it logs. And it can be confusing because if you look at the altimeter and if you turn it over, it has this plug-in right here. Um, this is for the field data display unit, which is connected to there so you can see the data on the field. Uh, we don't have this currently at Apogee Components as I'm making this video. Uh, we hope to have it someday in the future when Perfect Flight releases it finally. Um, as you can see, it's very small. Um, on one end we have a little coin cell battery um, and then on the on the back side the side that says Firefly on the very end we have a little LED and then next to it is the power switch where you turn it on and off um, so to turn it on you just hold down the little button and if you're you'll see the little light come on indicating that it's powering up and then it goes through a series of flashes which tells you the altitude of the rocket from the last flight. Um, and there's actually two series of flashes. The first is the altitude, and then the second is the speed of the rocket. Um, right now it's in this um, a waiting mode. It goes through a 30 second waiting mode, which is the time that it takes to put the altimeter into your rocket. Um, to turn it off, you just depress and hold the button again until the LED light goes off and so now it's off. Um, so if I want to see what the last flight was I'll just turn it back on and I'm going to look at this little green light and count the bleeps. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was one, six, six, eight and that's in feet. Um, since my last test was basically um, a static test, there's no speed to it, so it's not going to blink out the speed. So I'm going to pause here and wait for 30 seconds um, until it's ready to fly, and when it's ready to fly, we're going to get a, a short, weak beep or blip. Um, it's not as intense as the normal um, blips that you just saw a second ago. Okay, so now it's actually started. See, they're very weak about one every second and this means that the altimeter is ready to, to take its reading. Now to test this you can do a suck test and um, in the instruction manual that you get with the Firefly um, it will tell you how to build a little vacuum chamber. Uh, for peak altitude only altimeters I'll just cup it into my hands and suck the air out which will simulate a flight. So I just make like a cavity, make a hole, put my mouth to it and suck the air out. Okay, and so now it stopped blinking and there's one long beep. And it's blinking out the last altitude. And now it's doing a speed. Okay, so now it's in its 30 second mode. And this is the part where you could take your rocket and stick it into the payload bay. Um, it recommends putting some foam in there, some padding. Um, put my foam padding past my vent hole here. Um, I'm gonna turn it off and then turn it back on again to simulate going into the rocket. So I'm holding down the button. Okay, it's off. Turn it on. I got some padding to wrap around it. I'm just going to wait until it gets to that 30 second window where I can put it into the rocket. Okay. And you drop it in your rocket. Put some more padding in there. Put the nose cone on and it's ready to fly. So, 
Again, this was the uh, Perfect Flight Firefly Altimeter. You can get it here at Apogee Components. You can come to our website at www.apogeerockets.com.